got your legs up in the sky and the devil in your eyes Let me hear you say you want it all Yo, 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 peeps, how are you all getting on? This is your boy Popsy from Future Shock Studios. Welcome back to yet another video. And there's gonna be plenty of examples like the ones you've just seen. And today we're gonna to be checking out the Aston Origin microphone by Aston Microphones from England, UK. And I'm speaking on it right now. The Aston Origin is a high performance cardioid condenser microphone utilizing a one inch gold evaporated capsule. It's practically versatile to use with any instrument, singer or even songwriter. And it does excel in acoustic guitars and even vocals, which I'll demonstrate a little later so do make sure to stay tuned in we're going to be doing tons of instrumentation testing on the aston origin that being said let's go and roll the intro Welcome back. If you're new here, do consider subscribing. I bring you news about audio gear and reviews each and every week. Also, don't forget to check the timestamps out to help you navigate throughout this video. For this review, all the audio that you're going to be listening to will be coming from the Aston Origin. I've got the mic plugged directly into my Apollo Twin X with 48 volts of phantom power engaged. My gain is set at 40 decibels and I'm recording in 24 bit 48 kilohertz. And you are listening to the raw and unprocessed vocal, meaning it's L natural, there's no EQ compression or any type of noise reduction. But I may need to boost the audio a little bit later in post. So let's go and check what comes in the box. So everything comes in this eco-friendly packaging and it is worth noticing that Aston Microphones are doing their bit for the environment by shipping their microphones in a 100% recyclable cardboard boxes. Inside you'll obviously find the Aston Origin microphone. On board the mic you'll get an inbuilt mounting system with a pre-installed 5H to a 3H microphone stand adapter. You'll also get a Aston Microphone badge and some stickers and of course you'll get this welcome card. And you can also pick up separately the Swift Shield, a shock mount and the pop filter that I'm currently using right now and I've been using it from the start of the video. And later on, we'll show you what it sounds like without the pop shield. The Swift Shield also includes the all-in-one studio microphone bundle. The stainless steel pop filter uses a specialized Hextech design, which uses a hexagonal etched holes for maximum pop reduction. This helps to eliminate sibilance and plosive sounds with high efficiency, resulting in a more transparent and concise vocal recording. And you will find that the Aston Universal Shock Mount provides exceptional Optional isolation eliminating structure borne noise and unwanted vibration from your microphone stand. Also, if you want to pick up the Aston Origin microphone for yourself, it will set you back anywhere from 200 to 240 pounds depending on where you buy it from. And if you want to pick up the Aston Swift Shield, it will set you back around the 119 pounds at the time of filming this video in the UK. As always, I'll throw the links in the description down below. Moving on, let's go and check out the build quality and the features of the Aston Origin. So as far as the build quality goes, the Aston Origin has a solid, a robust stainless steel construction. The chassis has a, a custom finish which feels hard wearing and has a beautiful a silver finish. One must say it looks awesome on the eye. Top audio officials were called in to hear the Origin during its initial build which has become almost a regular part of their creative processes. On the business end of the mic, you have an exclusive mesh knit pop filter built into the signature waveform spring head. The random weave allows sound to pass while drastically eliminating eliminated unwanted plosives at once. This completely encapsulating a single piece mesh cage is formed in a stainless steel so it won't rust with use and it can be removed and washed. The stainless steel body carries the Aston logo at the front and the mic's name on the bottom. The origin is a side addressed a cardioid pattern mic with a one inch diaphragm diameter and on the left hand side of the mic it comes fitted with a minus 10 decibel pad switch and an 80 hertz low frequency roll off switch. Both an XLR socket and a US 5 8 inch standing mount threads are recessed into the base casting. A thread adapter is included for use with European mic stands. The Origin features a transformerless electronics and operates from standard 48 volts of phantom power. So now that you've seen the highlights of the build quality and features, let's go and talk specs. 
So as far as these specs goes, the transducer type is a, a condenser. It comes with a, a cardioid polar pattern. The frequency response is a 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The equivalent noise level is 18 dB A weighted. Sensitivity at 1 kilohertz is a 23.7 MB per pascal. Maximum SPL is 127 decibels. The signal to noise ratio is 76 decibels A weighted. As already mentioned, the pad switch is a minus 10 decibels. You get a low cut filter of 80 hertz. And the Aston Origin comes weighing in at 450 grams, which is just under a one pound. Before I move on to the audio test, let's do a plosive test on the Aston Origin. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Let's go and take the pop filter off. And this is what the pop filter looks like. This is a plosive test on the Aston Origin without the pop filter. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Let's go and do a proximity test. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Let's even get closer. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. So the mic has got a proximity effect, but it doesn't sound harsh at all to me. Moving forward, let's go and do the most important thing, which is a testing. Oh, I got a bottle for the liquor with a cocaine kicker and I'm feeling like I'm 30 feet tall. So lay it down, lay it down. You got your legs up in the sky and the devil in your eyes. Let me hear you say you want it all. Yeah, say it now, say it now Look what you're doing Look what you've done But in this jungle you can run And what I've got for you I promise it's a killer You'll be banging on your chest Bang, bang, gorilla Oh, I got a bottle for the liquor with a cocaine kicker And I'm feeling like I'm 30 feet tall So lay it down, lay it down You got your legs up in the sky and the devil in your eyes Let me hear you say you want it all Yeah, say it now Say it now Look what you're doing Look what you've done But in this jungle you can run And what I've got for you I promise it's a killer You'll be banging on your chest Bang, bang, gorilla Lately I've been scared Of growing up Of growing old And lately I've Been thinking oh, I don't wanna lose my youth now When all we got is one shot All we got is one shot
wow, I must admit that the vocals and all the instrumentation that I threw at the Aston Origin all sounded great. With that being said, let's go and close down this video with some final thoughts. Despite its affordable price, the Origin performs remarkably well when compared to other microphones in its price range. And it can even rival some significantly higher priced microphones and also delivers on exceptional sound quality. Based on the vocal test that we done, I noticed that the microphone's sound significantly varied depending on whether I use the low cut filter or not. Hence, all the recordings were done without engaging the low cut filter. The Aston Origin is a large diaphragm condenser microphone microphone manufactured in England UK. Not only does it look impressive as you can see, it's a versatile microphone that performs exceptionally well on anything that you throw at it. It's a versatile microphone that performs exceptionally well on almost any sound source. I do commend the fact that it comes in an environmentally friendly packaging, but however, I think the Aston Origin should live in a wooden box or at least a flight case. Hopefully you found this video useful. As always, I'll drop the links of the Aston Origin in the description below. If you've got any questions about this microphone, or any of the other reviews, drop us a comment. Anyway, peeps, that's all you're going to get from me for today. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Smash it if that's your thing. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I shall catch you in the next video.